Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Cam Ward and today I wanted to talk about me moving from Mac to Windows for video editing. I started out using Windows Movie Maker and then switched over to Sony Vegas Pro. I would definitely recommend Sony Vegas. Movie Maker, uh, not so much box and it looked like to me online that everybody was using Macs if you were in like a creative industry. So I bought a MacBook Pro and it, this was in 2012. It was like a fully spec'd out i7, 16 gig of RAM, and the computer was just like a beast. It was so good. The operating system, Mac OS is just perfect, I think. It's really great. Something which I love about Mac are the um, touch gestures and I felt like all that stuff kind of combined made it so much quicker and fluid to video edit on. I've noticed in day-to-day -day tasks, it's not slowed down, it's still going fast, but video editing, it's really taking a hit, but it's crashing a lot more. Scrubbing through the timeline, there's always lag and it's so hard to work with, but it is frustrating when I see people using Final Cut and it runs perfectly well in there, but not in Premiere. Now I know that kind of comes down to optimization. So I also looked into getting the new MacBook, but I use the iPhone 7 Plus at the moment and and the port situation with no headphone jack has been incredibly annoying and I can imagine the same thing would happen with the MacBook Pro. I do understand that Apple probably are never going to put an SD card slot back into the MacBook. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I still think MacBooks are still some of the best laptops out there. Probably will pick up one of the new MacBook Pro laptops in the future at some point, not anytime soon. But do I get a Mac Pro? or an iMac, they're probably gonna refresh them later on this year or early next year. So I was like, damn it, I might as well just wait. However, I've got a lot of edits to do over summer and I normally edit about five or six videos a week. So I figured now was probably the time to look into getting a PC. I'll leave a link to all these like pieces in the description below. So all these pieces arrived um, and I was like, okay, here we go. Had them all laid out and now a lot of people probably be like, oh, it's so easy to put a PC together. Everyone online is always like, it's so easy, it's like Lego. I didn't think it was, so I asked for some help and I just kind of overlooked while somebody built it and I was like, yeah, good job. So how has it been? How has it been using Windows and stuff like that? Really great, almost flawless. There's been a few kinks here and there. Uh, Premiere still crashed a couple of times. File management isn't that great on Windows 10, so I've been using the MacBook for that. And I intend to keep the MacBook for traveling and uh, also file management. I keep pointing behind me there because it, it's there. And to be honest, I'm really surprised how far Windows has come because it feels a lot more like Mac OS now. And I've been using the MX Master Mouse, this, this one here. And it's got like a button, like it's got like a button here. And you don't even see that behind me, but it brings up all your windows and I really like that. So if you are looking for a mouse, I'd recommend going for that one. It's like 80 pound and even I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to spend 80 pound on a mouse. I'm using a really mushy, crappy HP keyboard, but it was super cheap. I don't have the portability of a laptop and I do feel quite restricted, but this computer is an absolute beast. For example, it renders out videos in like three or four minutes generally and the MacBook does the same video in like 15 to 20 minutes. It can go through 4K footage really easily, no timeline lag in Premiere, which has been amazing. It's made editing kind of like fun again for me and I'm really enjoying it, it's, it's just great. Something you really need to be cautious of is the screen you wanna go for, uh, Windows monitors. I've been through quite a few of them in the past and I just didn't like them, generally I end up sending them back. Um, so this is an Apple display and I would probably have a look for one of them if I was you. This is the 27 inch cinema display. So yeah, overall really pleased with the switch to PC. You can use either, just whatever gets the job done. Thoughts and stuff, if you wanna talk about this stuff in the comments, let me know because I'm interested to know what you think. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like, hit subscribe uh, to keep updated and I'll let you know how this thing is doing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.